I spent an hour in Twitch chat brewing up the coolest Luris Saga Turbo Turbo Vault Key deck featuring Glint Nest Crane, Deadly Dispute, Wish Claw Talisman, and it was a certified banger. You're not going to want to miss it. Welcome back, Vintage Gamers, to a Wednesday night brewing session here with Twitch chat. Uh, we started off playing around with Turbo Volt Key, but I decided that wasn't that wasn't fun enough. We needed something more spicy, something interesting, and we have come up with deck titled Crane Game. Credit to Shiny Metal Rons for that one. We are going to play a Turbo Volt Key deck utilizing Wish Claw Talisman. Now, this is a card that does see play in other formats, namely Legacy Storm, if I recall. Um, and it is a tutor on an artifact. And if you can actually sacrifice it, you can remove the downside uh, of giving your opponent the Wish Claw Talisman after you activate it. So, to fulfill that life here, we are going to either just win the game with Time Vault and Manifold Key and taking infinite turns. Or we could maybe sacrifice it with the uh, ability on the stack to a Deadly Dispute. Uh, this is a card that I really, really like. It's a card that kind of only seems play in Pauper, but the power level of this card is extremely high. Uh, it does a very... not a, It's not really a unique effect anymore, because they have printed cards since then uh, that are like this, but there's, there was a card in, uh, in uh, the Fake Arena format that was kind of like this as well, and both of these cards have seen play and constructed before. So this is um, kind of a fun one. Draw two and get a treasure token, but you have to sacrifice an artifact or a creature. Um, so we're going to do some sacrificing of our Wish Claw Talismans. Maybe we can sacrifice some uh, Urza's Constructs. We can maybe just sacrifice some Moxen. Uh, maybe we sacrifice other treasure tokens. Uh, or we can also sacrifice a nice Glint Nest Crane, Standard All-Star, uh, a card I've actually cast quite a lot in my life. It is a ETB 1-3 flyer that looks at the top four and you can put an artifact among them into your hand. So we can go find our Vault Key pieces. We can go find our Wish Claw Talisman or our Moxen with our Glint Nest Crane. The rest of this deck is just a very standard uh, blue shell. We've got the Force of Wills and Negations using the Lorien Reveals to supplement our, mana, our Urza Saga mana base and get our blue count up for Force. We've got a nice little Merchant Scroll package with Force, um, Fluster, Ancestral Brainstorm, Misstep, Dig, Repeal. And then we have some dress downs so that we don't die to uh, Urza Saga constructs or things like Atraxa or Thassa's Oracle. Dress down, I think, just an incredible card. All of this fits very nicely inside of a Lurus shell. So all of our combo pieces are permanents that cost less than two mana. Uh, or sorry, less than three mana, I should say. And we can bring them all back and do cool, two fun things with them. Classic Lurus gaming. And then we just have... Um, uh, anti bizarre, extra basics, anti mono white, anti combo. Pretty straightforward. Null rod is actually a pretty fun one here, where you can uh, wish claw for a null rod and then turn off the null uh, the wish claw. That should be fun. If we can do that at least once on stream, I will be very happy. Uh, anything else? No. Uh, so yeah, this is this is me trying to experiment inside of the Luris Saga combo shell. Um, so like not the wasteland shell, but the more combo oriented shell. Things like Turbo Volt Key. Breach, PO, Breach, PO, <laughs> um, and just playing some different cards inside of the shell and seeing if we can't make the combo even quicker. So, see you in round one. Have you ever wanted to win your own real Black Lotus? The legendary NYSE Vintage Tournament returns this June 22nd on Long Island in New York. 15 proxy, high stakes, paper vintage action with Eight whole pieces of unlimited power as prizes. You are not going to want to miss it. Check out more information in the description below. I hope to see you there. Let's battle. All right, round one. I've won the die roll. I have a cat. My opponent also has a cat. What do we got? Urza's Saga, Glint Nest Crane, Force of Will, Deadly... I mean, this hand slaps. It's a slapper. 
opponent also has a Luris. Um... What do we want to do with this hand? Play a Glint Nest Grain? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Get in there. <laughs> Any artifacts? Oh, <laughs> Mana Crypt and Wish Claw Talisman. Lost to Talarian Academy. Wait, this crane's crane's lit. We got the crane and the game. I think Mana Crypt is better though. Any order? Wow. Uh, I probably will just hold open Deadly Dispute. Because I think I want these mana pieces. Like, I do want to make constructs, right? I wish I could sacrifice enchantments to Deadly Dispute. If I could sacrifice enchantments and my opponent would go to Wasteland My Saga and I would Deadly Dispute, it would be so good. Time walk. Time walk. Sack the crane? Like, yeah, we might. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking. Definitely don't want to cast Deadly Dispute on my turn where they can negate me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wait, this deck is lit. We're going off. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they have a Black Lotus? You got a Wasteland, or are we just going Lurusing, or... What's the deal? Knowing my opponent, they're probably playing Blue Black Fair Luris. That's kind of their, uh... Style. Man, why can't we sacrifice enchantments, though? What a banger that would be. Opponent digging for a wasteland. <laughs> We're the superior deck. We've got cranes. They don't have any cranes. Fetching, uh, cracking for blue. And then what? Ancestral? With Flusterstorm backup? I guess we could just not fight over it. I mean, they're just drawing the cards that they brainstormed, right? Who cares? Why don't we just let this happen? Aren't they just drawing, like... It doesn't really feel like I need to counter this. But I mean, maybe they don't have a Wasteland. Does it matter, though? Do do these blue-black decks play dra uh, dress downs yet? Or... Man, I wish I had a... Um, I guess I couldn't Flusterstorm here anyways. I... Am I willing to just spend my whole hand? I feel like I am. Like, what's my opponent doing if I just, like, get rid of their f Fluster and Recall here? Oh, they just let it go? And then what? Yogwill? Yogwill would be so good here. S ah, Spreading Seas. Whatever. Spend the hand. Alright, they did have a force. So the Ancestral was bait to protect the Spreading Seas. 
a classic scenario. I still have the ability to Luris actually here. I can't play Luris this turn, but like I have double black mana, so like I have a follow up line. They have a ponder. Kind of an interesting game. Lots has happened. This is this is like turn one and turn one ish. <laughs> There are there is six cards and seven cards in either player's yard, and this is basically turn one for both players. What did they do with this ponder? They did not shuffle. Ruby. So I still can't play Luris if I play this Ruby, right? So we just buy Luris. Pass. If I draw a blue land, I can play Crane next turn. If I resolve Luris. So they drew a treasure cruise. What a god. Restricted cards! That's so brutal. Oh, oh, not treasure cruise? Oh no, they're gonna treasure cruise. They're trying to save the Luris. Oh, they're trying to save the Black Lotus. That's so crazy though. Like we did have a Force of Will War, and my opponent has Black Lotus Ancestral Treasure Cruise. It's very, very good. To be fair, I'm not playing Treasure Cruise, so I can't have that card, but I could play Treasure Cruise for what it's worth. Definitely a card I could put in my deck. Yeah, I mean, I no longer feel like we're winning, unfortunately. I did feel like we had come out ahead on that exchange until the cruise happened. When the cruise happened, I feel like we, we, we lost out on the exchange, but... That's not a very good draw. That's got to be one of the worst possible draws. Yeah, I don't even have a really good play off of this either. It's just a Lotus Petal. Next turn, it can be a Crane if I keep my Luris around. What do they have? One push in their deck? All right, well... I mean, I can Crane into like a Wish Claw Talisman and kill my opponent, right? One, two, not exactly, but it's a, it's a very hard question to answer. How many crews would someone play if it was unrestricted? I don't think the answer is four for what it's worth. We're not really in a world where like four crews makes sense. Cause I, I had actually put treasure crews and or dig on my, uh, you could, you could probably unrestrict them category all right well my Luris is sticking around that's kind of nice uh i can't attack though right because i could hit they could have a bow master uh i guess i would rather play i can't hit a saga off this right no all right so let's let's do this and play a glint nest green i wouldn't call it a big cost but it is a cost top i lost ancestral lorian revealed and deadly dispute all all my draw cards <laughs> um though maybe they just have the uh the bow master here i guess i can't do a top trick if i think they have a bow master either right yeah but i mean i would have to put some some i have to put some some cost in there all right, well, I have Demonic for Volt Key, so. I mean, if it gets negated, though, how do I ever win? That's a that's a problem, right? I guess we can go to the end of turn, and if they don't play a Bowmaster on their turn, we could do the top trick. We did draw the Island, which doesn't get Wastelanded, which is pretty funny as well. All right, well, they didn't have a Bowmaster there, so I think I'm going to just do this now. If my opponent, like, held the Bowmaster, then sure, I, I get punished, but...
Really? Wait, why are they doing this now, though? Now I just won't activate again. Wait, no, I, can, I guess I can activate again now. Oh, I can't activate, because I'm going to get two shot no matter what. What the f What? So they just didn't cast it at end step? They were just holding open... I had no cards in hand, and they were just holding open Bowmaster for fun? What am I missing? Like, why would you do that? Like, you just assume that I'm going to go vault do this on the other turn? All right, whatever. I got got. I'm super surprised, but... I guess, like, they must be holding open Flusterstorm then, right? Or Spell Pierce or something? But I had no cards in hand. It's pretty wild to me. I don't really get it. Put Luris in hand. I can at least hard cast a negation here, but... Maybe I should have put Deadly Dispute. No. So, can I play this through? I can play it through a Spell Pierce, right? I mean, if this gets countered, I lose, right? Maybe we should have a card besides Lur. Uh, I mean, I I'm the one who got my Luris killed. I mean, I'll play around Spell Pierce. Alright, just resolve. Oh, maybe they have Steel... Wait, alright, maybe we just win? Okay. Oh... Uh, I did not think we were winning that game. <laughs> uh, hmm. I'm just so surprised they held Bowmaster. What's like... I mean, it must be Flusterstorm, right? They were just holding open Flusterstorm. All right. Heck yeah. All right, so blue, black, control. They seem like they have more ponders than normal. I mean, I had a Sensei's top, so I don't know. I, I wouldn't really make someone play out a league match where you have 19 life and a Mana Crypt. I feel like that's a waste of time, but if you're totally within your rights to do so. So I was thinking about bringing in a Swamp and a Needle. How does that make people feel? No, I cast a Mana Tutor, so my library was shuffled, right? So, uh, I mean, like, kind of want like a Soul Guide Lantern too, right? I don't, I, I don't know how many of these cards I'm allowed to play. Like, I really don't like Negation. They did show us they had Time Twister though, but I'm like not a huge fan of Negation in this matchup. But I also don't like know how many cards I'm allowed to actually cut. like a vamp kind of want the little the, I don't actually care about killing a Luris though right so then why do I have a long goodbye to kill an Oko uh, I don't know something like this seems fine though Uh, 
Time to go to my channel. That's that's true. That is true. Four is almost five. I have a cap. I have a key and I have a talisman. Wait, can I use key and talisman? It has three wish counters on it, so I guess I can, huh? Combo. How good was Glintness Crane, though? Wasn't it great? I feel like it was great. Glitness Crane found me Sensei's Top and Mana Crypt and sacrificed to draw me two cards. Oh, it's Breach. I see. Another Mox Time Walk start for the opponent. Bad land gaming. Put Luris in hand. Put Luris in hand. I have to leave open Lorien revealed in case I get wastelanded. Yeah, I mean, there's bug and there's oath. So there are two distinctly different Oko decks in the format. Our deck is pretty bad against Oko. Am I forcing this Luris, by the way? Do I actually care? I feel like I don't. Pretty sure I'm just going to try to vault key my opponent here with multiple counter spells. They didn't have a wasteland, so I'm just going to get both Cs. Now I can play all of them in the same turn. I'm cooking today, baby. Woo! Maybe I should have led key, because now if they have a mental misstep, they'll counter it. Yeah, I should have led key and then played Wish Claw Talisman. I need to hit another mana, but if I hit a mana, I can just go for it next turn. Double counter spell back up. Currently, they have nothing looping with Luris, so it's just a 3 2. I do think we lose the game if we don't win the game, though. <laughs> but, like, double counter spell, combo kill, it feels like worth it, right? Uh oh, red, red. Oh, they have by force? There's no way, right? This must be by force, right? Please don't be shattering spray. There's no way the Urza Saga. Come on! There's no way the Urza Saga deck plays shattering spree. Oh. That is disgusting. I mean, you have to just let this happen, right? Technically, I can rebuy it all with Luris at some point, but wow, that is gross. Oh, they went for two copies on one of them. That's good for us. Now I can just buy Luris. Wait, didn't they have Wastelands in their deck? So do they have Wastelands and Sagas and Luris? And, I mean, maybe they don't. Maybe they... Maybe they don't have Saga in their deck. 
We saw Bowmaster and multiple Ponders. Maybe it's just the Sprite Dragon deck. Mm -hmm. I don't have another mana, though. This kind of stinks. I might play a Crane and try to hit a Mox and then play a Wishclaw. A soul ring. I don't mind a soul ring. Blue, black, blue negation. Mm, sure. My opponent has invested quite a lot. I feel like I should just always block the Luris because I can just buy it back. I guess I lose the ability to Deadly Dispute, but... I can just buy back this Crane later. My opponent has three cards in hand. I guess if they have a Flusterstorm... It's not even the end of the world. Saga Gaming? I guess they don't have Saga, right? There's just, like, no way they have Saga. The cranes have been very good. <laughs> All right. Hardcast Force, I assume. No, just Resolvers. All right. Well, I'm going to get back my key. They don't have a negation anymore. So that's nice. Oh, now they have... What is this? A braid on my Luris? I feel like that's fine. Like, yeah, you killed Luris, but I got back my key. Oh, they have another one. Another negation. I mean, I could theoretically just win this game with Saga tokens, right? Like, I don't actually have to go Vault Key here. We're at 14. I mean, the minute they start looping something with Luris, it's pretty annoying. Because I don't have a way to remove the Luris. They have one card in hand. I think I'm going to force this through. I, I got up to like 16 artifacts, which isn't amazing, but it's, I think it's enough. So if they don't have a way to kill Saga, then we don't have a problem with Luris. I like a land here so I can play a Wishclaw Talisman. Ugh. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do is just make Constructs. Really lucky they didn't have a Spreading Seas, huh? Black, Black, Bowmaster? Sure. Don't care about a Bowmaster at all. I guess I care a little bit. But I'm going to go get Black Lotus and go... Wish Claw, play and activate. They have one card, two cards. So they're just going to go Bowmaster. So uh, I guess I just take one, right? The only way that's bad is if they, like, drew Bobble. Well, if it dies, it just comes back and does me one anyways and makes the army bigger. Oh, you're talking about Blood Moon. Okay. Blue, blue, black, black. Lorien revealed last card. They only have one card, so all they can have is Spell Pierce, I guess. Which we should be beating, right? Or do I not have enough to actually beat Spell Pierce here? Mm. Oh, I can Deadly Dispute, huh? 
So I activate Wish Claw Talisman. I guess if I get Flusterstormed, then it's like a little worse. Oh, sure. This pings me. Wait, I just hit my Time Vault. <laughs> So I can go get a mental misstep, which means I should be covered from spell peers. Right. Or can I get a fluster storm is better. I have one mana, two mana, three mana, four mana. Because fluster covers me from trap. Actually, I'm not, I'm not, trap is not turned on. Whatever, it's fine. Ooh, whoa, do we have something here? Those were some pretty convincing games. Honestly, all of our tech cards were were very good. Our wish claws were good, our cranes were good, and our deadly disputes were good. I am I am intrigued. All right, round two against a possible counter vine. We have a cat. This matchup was probably extremely bad, if I had to guess. I can't imagine how our deck could really ever beat Countervine. So maybe they'll mold it to zero. Gonna keep this in. <laughs> yeah, I don't know they're on Countervine. It's likely they're on Countervine, right? But I have to keep this in the dark. How is it a keep? I mean, I don't know what they're on. I can't just like say, oh, the last thing someone's seen them play is Countervine. They're absolutely on Countervine. This hand like produces combo kills pretty reasonably fast. Has Saga. They're on Saga, but no Tinker, uh, no Luris. So they're on Tinker Saga, maybe? Oh. Jewel then. So it's a six card jewel hand that has gone wrong. Wish we had that main deck null rod, huh? Wish we had a blue. Hmm. I wonder if we should have. I mean, we could always deadly dispute our null rod. Should we like have a null rod main? You know? Really makes you think. I think I'm going to play a crane. Crane is a creature. That is a true statement. I got a Mox. It's not nothing. Crane has not missed yet. It's been pretty close. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't think the percentage is great, but... All right, so it is a jewel hand that they kept. It must be a ring then. Must be a ring then, yeah. Okay. Oh, they have a saga going off. Probably just can't beat this unless we draw really well this turn. If we draw one of our pieces, if we draw a time walk, might get us there. I feel like we have draws that win. I don't have a needle in the main. Drew a force the turn after. Uh, 
This sucks. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm just like so dead. Oh, if we had a second mana source, we could wish claw into time walk and then wish claw into whatever. But we played a crane, right? Instead of we used our blue mana on a crane. I feel like using our blue mana on a crane made sense. I just don't have any, like, tech cards that will actually stop my opponent from killing us here, right? And if I give them a Wish Claw Talisman, they just tutor a counter spell or a, a jewel. Uh, yeah. The, the reason is I played an Urza Saga. I need this Urza Saga to... to to finish to win the game. If I if I don't have an Urza Saga complete in this game, I, I will probably never winning. So I played an Urza Saga. I think I just have to pass and hope they draw nothing in their 6 million cards they draw. I don't know. Like, I can, there's nothing I can tutor for here, right? Like, I just... I can tutor... Like, I don't have a blue mana. If I had a, if I had a blue mana, I could time walk, and I think we could maybe win. Um, but I don't. I can't tutor for something that stops them doing anything, because I don't have a null rod in the main. What about turn this into a black lotus gives me five mana and then I can play no it's like not enough right I guess if I turned it into a lotus I could force I mean that's just like worse than getting a blue card right if I turn it into a Lotus and played a second and third Wish Claw Talisman, and then no, it doesn't do anything. Uh... Yeah, but then I, I can't like give them a Wish Claw Talisman. Like they, their deck can use a Wish Claw Talisman. I think it's just hope oh, we don't die. Uh, Lotus does not give me time walk because I have to make black mana and blue mana. I'm really colored mana starved here. Because I'm playing Urza Saga. I assume this just gets a key. So they can draw... Five cards this turn. I, I, can't, I can't imagine we don't lose, is what I'm trying to say. And, uh... We needed to draw... We needed to have this... Force on turn two, on turn two there, but <laughs> Crane did its best. All right, yeah, there's a key. Not only if we gave them a talisman would they be able to search once, they could probably search twice. <laughs> I mean, we're they're gonna be at nine cards. No, they're gonna be at ten cards. Yeah, we're just super dead. Ah. Uh... Mm. Even if they don't kill us, it's very likely they'll have force. So we're going to have to draw a blue card as well. 
That seems pretty doable, though. Oh, I guess they could play a Metamorph as a Wishclaw Talisman. That's also a problem. So, uh, not me. You still gonna not keep the turn two ring on the play? Oh. Yeah, we just need a force in this game. We would have won. That's the difference. We drew too many wish claw talismans. <laughs> they have two keys. If our deck had a Null Rod main, we would have won immediately on the spot, though. Because we would have been able to go Wish Claw, sacrifice Wish Claw, get a Null Rod, Null Rod their whole, their whole board, and we would just win on the spot. Three keys? That's a lot of keys. That's true, too. They could have had Force Blue card. That's true. Yeah. I mean, I think if we just... I, I'm wondering if we should have had a Null Rod in the main. If we have a Null Rod in the main, it does solve this problem. But I think, like, you only really want a Null Rod in main in this matchup. So it's, like, kind of asking for a lot. Do normal Jewelists play three keys? I just want to see a little bit more... I feel like they were on two keys. Oh, the New York paper list. Uh, the New York paper list that has three jewels. Uh-huh. All right, I will concede to that. Oh, no, we're just dead, dead. My opponent draws their whole deck. All right, well, Null Rod comes in. That'll be a big boost. Steel, Steel Sabotage comes in. It's a pretty good one. Hercules might come in, and two traps come in. Um... Feel like we cut Flusterstorm and Misstep and Probe. And Repeal, maybe? Hmm. Maybe we cut Island. Maybe we don't want to cut mana mental misstep if they're playing three keys. No, you don't want to like randomly lose to sagas and dress down is a cantripping blue card, so. I'm not 100% sure it's worth bringing in Hercules, but seems fine. Hmm. 
We could maybe trim. I don't know. It, I might want to trim like some amount of Wishclaw Talismans because I can't play them blind anymore because they could have Metamorph, right? That's something I'm pretty worried about. Might trim a Wishclaw. Like, it's nice that in most matchups, you can just, like, play your Wishclaw and play it and let it suspend, right? You just, like, let it sit and play. But in this matchup, I don't think I can let it sit and play. Uh, uh this hand doesn't have manas. This trap was an island. Would I have kept this hand? Yeah. Uh, all right. Saga, Crypt, Force. Not bad. Which card goes back here? Is it just dig? Because vamp gets time vault? Probably. Seven card keep, found an underground sea, and a wish. Well, I mean, we're just going to draw underground sea next turn. And then we kill them, so. All right, well, we have a turn three with force. Let's see if it's enough. Mm hmm Workshop, Jewel, Force Backup. Ancient Tomb, Grim Monolith, Jewel, Force Backup. Saga, One Ring. Sure. Can I let one ring resolve? It draws one and then it draws two. Not really. No. I mean, if they have force backup, they have force backup. Hmm. All right, force back up. Seems good. At least they don't have, they don't, have, they don't look like they have a lot of mana right now. They could always be tight on mana here. I mean, our plan is still the same. It's super unlikely they have two forest blue cards. That's half the blue cards in their deck. Yeah, I could. I could have gone vamp, draw it, play Nullrod. 
Not entirely convinced that's better than just trying to win the game. But it might have been. It's it's definitely possible. Like if the problem is if like my opponent just plays an ancient tomb, I lose if I do that line. And maybe they're not likely to have an ancient tomb, so maybe it's fine. Like it's not like that one's an instant win because of the, the current board situation. I'm also like locking myself into drawing another dead top on the next turn and my saga goes away. I guess my saga goes away and finds a needle, but they still have they'll still have made a construct and I'll die I'll die to that construct. Oh one nine. Thank you for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. Welcome. Playing some vintage with a little homebrew. A little little spice. Currently getting our butt kicked by Jewel, as it is. All right, so here's the ancient tomb. So if we had gone the null rod line, we would have died. So, uh, cast vamp. Hopefully, I don't have another force or missed up. I guess at this point, maybe I should have vamped on my turn. Not sure about that. All right, I am going to vamp for a time vault, and then I'm going to make a construct, and then I'm going to untap. And I'm going to lose a crit flip. And then I'm going to float a mana. And I'm going to get a manifold key. And I'm going to hope and pray that my time vault resolves. It does. I'm going to take an extra turn with my time vault. It's very hard for my opponent to have blue card force, blue card force in their deck that has like 16 blue cards and four forces. So. Uh, okay. I they make a four four, so I can just attack. What well, and win? Nice shieldred time spiral is a good one. All right, so that went well. Suit so again. We have we have six forces, two traps, and a null rod. I mean, I like I, and a Hercules and a steel sabotage. I think our deck looks pretty good against Jewel. I don't know. What does this deck list look like? Do you have a? Does anyone have an example of uh, this special deck list here that has less jewels, more keys? I'm aware of it, but I don't know if I have a deck list in my head of it. I don't like really know what the differences are. Uh, there's no rationale. I should be playing needle. Uh, <laughs> I just missed it. I keep forgetting to bring in needle because of the one ring. I have like a lot of built built in uh jewel heuristics from before ri the ring was put out. Um but yeah. Yo, what up team contender? Welcome. All right. We're looking for a mind break trap, a force, and a null rod. Show me the goods. Blue card, force, mind break trap, and null rod. Any takers? We got a blue card. We've got a... Ugh, ugh. Is this a keep? Oh, I don't know. No, maybe. Man, this is tough. This is pretty borderline. Hey, Mulligan. Any land drop is good. Has a force. That's two two cost black cards. Yeah, but there's like we might just not have a force in our next hand. <laughs> Kinda have to have a force. Hmm, like I'd keep this on six and on five. Hmm. 
Mind Break Trap's a lot worse than Force. My opponent can just go Workshop Mana, uh, Land to uh, Workshop Mox plus Ring. I wish Mental Misstep was better in this matchup because I would think it'd be a lot stronger. What cards can I draw that are like really bad? I can draw more black cards. I boarded out a bunch of them though. I, I boarded out a bunch of Wish Claws. Every Mox is good. Every Land is good. Some of the blue cards are good. Lorian is good. I'm gonna keep this hand. I mean, I think that the problem is it's not high reward. I feel like this hand is like high risk, medium reward is the problem. Like a high risk, high reward hand would like have a Null Rod and no Mox or something. Ancient Tomb, Grim Monolith. Y'all. I wish they had like tapped it for a key. That would have been sick for us. Drew the, <laughs> Drew the Underground Sea. Well then. Uh, so we go Underground Sea, Mox, Demonic for Null Rod. And I did board out an island. Uh, and then we'll just hold up these counter spells and then deploy Null Rod and hope they don't have a Saga. I guess a Saga is pretty good against us here. Ancient Tomb makes Saga really good against Null Rod. Mm. It's actually really problematic to get a Null Rod because of the Ancient Doom. I wonder if there's something else we can get instead. If I got something else, what would I get? An Ancestral? Like, I think... I mean, I have the Null Rod so I can tutor it here, but the problem is... What if I just get, like, another Force? If I get a Force of Will. Like, I have a Deadly Dispute and a Top. I guess, like, technically that's not helping me against the Saga, but, like, we can, like, play the game out. Whereas without, uh, with an Null play, we can't really play the game out. I have a Hercules technically for Saga Tokens, so I could theoretically not use the Hercules and then Hercules the Saga Tokens. I think that this line makes the most sense to me. Another pass with six mana up. Lorien revealed. Nice. Um, I think we just make sure we get a land, and then we deadly dispute. I guess I could play a top instead, because if I can use the top activation and then deadly dispute, that might just be better. I mean, they can't wait for force backup because their deck doesn't have enough blue cards to wait for force backup. It's more likely their hand has, like, P.O. or something in it, and they're just, like, waiting for more mocks in or something. I, I don't know. Maybe their hand has a force, and they don't have a payoff. They found a Saga, though. But I do think that waiting is good for us, so. Down a Time Vault and a Strip Mine. Sick. So... One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, brainstorm. So time vault, brainstorm, strip mine, draw, strip mine, cast, deadly dispute. I guess I don't have the cast of the dispute right now, right? Because it doesn't do anything. Just strip mine. Float. I think I would like to sacrifice my top. So I know I'm drawing Time Vault Brainstorm. So what I want to do is spin my top, hold priority, activate my top, hold priority, deadly dispute, end of turn. 
or when they cast a spell or something. I don't know. The longer this game goes, the better we're the better off we are because my opponent's deck doesn't really grind. It is an all-in combo deck. So all right, so I'm going to spin my top, hold priority, activate my top, hold priority, and then cast Deadly Dispute, sacrificing my top. Draw two cards, get a treasure token, draw one card, and then spin and look at my top three. Saga Saga Lorian revealed. Yeah, that's great. Uh, so I go, yeah, Saga Saga Lorian revealed. Sure. So the question then becomes, I don't think I'm supposed to play my Time Vault out because of Metamorph. So now I just wait another turn here. I get to hold up Herkles, Negation, and Force Force. And it's just, I mean, we have seven cards in hand, a million counter spells, and a, and a, a, a combo coming in a turn. So we're just going to crush them. Not bad, deck. Not bad. <laughs> I played around it. I, I think I got, this is just a nice mis misstep cash in, though. No. No, Metamorph I can counter with Dress Down. So that might be a good enough reason to play Time Vault, but I think if I hold up a uh, Hardcast Negation and Hardcast Dress, uh, uh, Hercules and everything this way, so. I, I just don't see a compelling reason to play and worry about things when I can just hold everything up and we'll be fine. And then we can just kill them on the next turn with counter spells and stuff back up, so. This game has been, man. I like this deck. This deck is fun. I I get to play some fun cards. You gotta love a nice Urza Saga and Luris enabling some fun cards. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what they kept. It doesn't look like it was something I would keep. Maybe they had a lot of mana and they were trying to draw payoffs, but you can't really do that with that deck, so. The One Ring. The one ring we don't care about, right? I mean, we kind of care about because we'll have to pass the turn or whatever, but we don't actually care about the one ring. Just let them draw a card. We take infinite turns, and then we make a bunch of constructs, and then we null rod them, and they can't win, so. I don't think I actually care about the one ring. Like, I will have to pass the turn to them, but I, I can just have a hand of all counter spells, a null rod in play, and multiple constructs, right? So I don't actually care about protection. I could also, like, not play a null rod, and I can just needle a one ring. This is a PO for two. I felt like their hand was PO this whole time. How much mana will they have after this? Should I just Hercules? Oh, they have a Tinker. Uh, I will counter a Tinker. Force, pitching, force. Two cards in hand. Whoa! Ho -ho -ho! Okay, opponent! Oh, I can't Hercules them. True. Do we lose? They had, so what do they get here? They can get a key and draw two, or they can get a, a jewel, and then they could lose the jewel to constructs. 
I mean, I'm glad I didn't force the one ring. Though I guess they couldn't have had blue card force, blue card force if they didn't resolve the one ring because they drew. I mean, it makes sense that they had a bunch of forces if because they, they didn't do anything for the first six turns of this game. So they are going jewel. I can dress down a metamorph if they draw a metamorph. If they PO, it's not that big a deal. I mean, if they PO after playing two moxes, it's a big deal. Another one ring. Okay. So they have a one draw and then they have three mana. All right. So we're fine. They can't win from here. Kind of got a little close. Yeah, I, I thought I could Hercules my opponent. So I probably could have kept the brainstorm. I mean, I don't really want to brainstorm here. I want to just make a, I mean, making a construct doesn't actually matter either, but. Because I'm taking infinite turns here. So nothing, nothing actually matters. I guess they could have a negation off of their jewel. So I technically could lose to that. Uh, so maybe I should attack first. So I can't win the game with infinite turns, but what I can do is put myself in a position where I can't lose the game. So I'll make a construct army. I will fill my hand with all counter spells and then I'll play a null rod. And my opponent's deck won't be able to function, and I'll have an uh, army that kills them on the next turn, and then I'll kill them. So my opponent has seen the the writing on the walls here and has uh, conceded. So very very nice. It got a little dicey there for a second, but I, I held strong, didn't force the one ring, and then not too bad. All right, round three up against fellow content creator Eric. See if uh, we got Doomsday happening. Ugh. Why can't you just be... Where's the Lorien revealed to give me the island? This hand's super sweet with an island. Guess we got the mulligan it, though. If I was on the draw, I'd consider keeping this hand against Eric Dex. But on the play, no go. Saga Gaming? Eric will love that. Definitely a keep here for Justin. For me, I will keep, and I will, hmm, should I just get rid of the underground sea? Ch what the, the chancellor of the dross we're playing against vampires ah oh, eric all right i uh i lose three can can vampires truly beat saga gaming though i doubt it i didn't look at this deck list i i i i, I saw it and i just said i'm not looking at it i know it doesn't have force of will in it i know it's like Soren Vein Ripper thing and um uh, uh is splashing ancestral and time walk should just be able to force the payoff and win theoretically is the the problem here for them I guess if we get scammed that's pretty bad right oh we got scammed uh, do we care about an unblockable 6-5? Well, they're not playing full cost. They're playing Sorin, so they're show and telling it in, basically. I 
can't really make constructs in time to beat this, can I? Not really. Should I just try deadly disputing and seeing what I draw? I see. This gets me a Lurus. All right, I'm going to let that resolve then. Because I can just gain three life back every turn. Oh, I can also play a Deadly Dispute. Sack my Mana Crypt, bring it back, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Wait, does it, it doesn't outrace me, right? I have a Luris. I don't think it matters anymore. Pretty sure we just crush with this. Chancellor of the Dross is a vampire. So you can put it into play with Soren. Swamp, swamp. Soren. No. No, because I think I'm going to cast Deadly Dispute. So I think what I'll do is I'll just deadly dispute off of this treasure token. Maybe that's like worse. Oh. What do I want to do? I don't know what I'm supposed to deadly dispute off of. Maybe just the saga token. It's like. Yeah. Uh, maybe. Maybe I was missing something there. It's possible. I feel like I can make a construct here and get a key and then get a lotus, get an academy. I don't know. Play a merchant scroll. Should I get Dig? One, two, three. Oh, I'll just get Ancestral. Cast Ancestral. Time Walk. Or I guess I can win the game. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Like, I'm just doing immensely powerful things. <laughs> Deadly Dispute like drew a million cards. I hit my power. I played my black L my Luris, which rebought for free, and I don't know. It doesn't matter. I successfully did not counter the reanimate, which let me counter the Soren, so nothing bad can happen. Uh so what does the vein card do? Anyone uh anyone know? Any knowers? Vein Reaper. Uh, six five flying ward. The ward cost is sacrifice a creature. Oh, okay. So we just don't even bother. We just try to counter their spell. Uh huh. Uh, so do I even? Well, I definitely don't bring in snuff out. I don't tell you that much. Are there a dark ritual deck? Probably. Should I like take out flusterstorm and play mindbreak traps? Well, I guess fluster hits a uh, scam. Do I want to bring in something that stops scam? Not really. Uh, I don't know. Does it matter what I do? I feel like we just just jam back in their face and play our glint nest crane, which is much more powerful. <laughs> uh, I'll play one fluster storm, one mind break trap. It'll make me feel better. I could have their deck list, but I don't really feel like opening Discord back up, so. We'll just guess what's in it. Probably vampires. Uh, 
I kind of think this hand's garbage. I don't really like this hand. I want to mulligan it. Oh, no. Not like this. If I get griefed, I'll be so sad, though, right? I'm I'm keeping this. You can't stop me. Jet. Dark Ritual. Emerald. Soren. Ruby. Oh my god. The power. <laughs> nice. All right. So draw Black Lotus, and then I'll buy and play Luris this turn. Oh, the game is so easy, man. The game is so easy, though. I'm playing into Mind Break Trap by doing this, but... Whatever. <gasps> My fam! Hello there, Mr. Crane. No, we missed! The first time we missed. No, we missed. I've never missed before. Oh, second Soren. Oh, banger. All right. Put a vampire into play. Oh, it's a ripper. <laughs> okay. Oh no, when I when I daily dispute my crane, I'm gonna lose life. Oh, wish claw talisman. Uh so we block the Vein Ripper and Deadly Dispute. Or should we just I don't wanna take six. What does this do? Death touch and lifelink and a one one counter. I probably just play my uh, Wish Claw Talisman, and then I buy a Luris, and then I just jump block. So, yes, we're going to do that. We didn't have any black mana to do that. So, which piece are we getting? What are we going to get? I guess we'll find out after, right? We'll just... Uh... Oh, we have Black Lotus as well. I don't know. Everything? Anything? Does it matter? <laughs> we have Wishclaw again next turn with Luris. Uh, I can't Time Walk, right? Time Walk's in my uh, Exile. I mean, we do. We win the game eventually here. Like, we're going to win. Let's just get the key. Play. Wait, we might win the game right now, right? One, two, three, four, five. Luris. All right. Your move, Eric. 
<laughs> it's kind of nuts that we can use our wish claw talisman to find both half of Volky because we sacked it to Deadly Dispute. God bless. Wait, does that mean we're already paying out the wieners? We are. I bet we are. are okay. Round four. Three and oh. Have a cat. You have a cat? No cat. Hmm. This is a hand of Magic the Gathering cards, huh? Are we allowed to ever keep this hand? I feel like we are. We get like chancellored. Not of the draws of the of the annex or whatever it's called. <laughs> I feel like I'm always keeping this though. Like it's just too much going on. I feel like it's pretty good hand, yeah. Oh no, don't play collector oof. Oh, thank God. It's just it's just death ray shaman. I would have been a sad boy. I'd like to draw like a mox here. A wish claw talisman, huh? Oh my god, I guess if I get a daze, it's pretty bad, huh? The one daze. Oh, there's a there's a bayou. We're fine. It's a bayou. Spell Pierce is pretty good too. Uh, yeah, I think there's a bunch of cards in the new set that look like they could be playable, so it'll be pretty fun to try them all out. I'm gonna do a video on that at some point. My opponent is deeply considering countering my Black Lotus, which is very sad for me. <laughs> I'd like to play the game, so hopefully they uh, decide not to do that. Sweet. All right, so I'm going to play a Sensei's Top, and then I have choices to make. I have choices to make. I think the choices I make are just pass and see what happens. I can do things like vamp a force to the top of my library, deadly uh, activate my sensei's top, and deadly dispute my top. Uh, I don't know if that's a good idea, considering I have Utilarian Academy and no other mana, but I could do that. <laughs> The white black card is good, it just costs white black, which is impossible to cast. I don't think we're going to win this game, but at least I'm having fun, right? Oof, there it is. Oof, oh, Outland Liberator. That is not oof, there it is. Uh, okay. Outland Liberator I'm okay with. Wait, actually, I have to dress it down? Wait, 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 wait. How do I Volt Key combo if they have an Outland Liberator? <laughs> oh, 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 big, 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 sick, sweet, A+. Plus. Um, what, which ones do I want to do? Which ones do I want to do? I think I'm going to make Black Mana. And I'm going to activate top. And then I'm going to deadly dispute my top. And see what happens before uh, before vamping here. Because I can also brainstorm before vamping as well. Whoa, we're, we are going off. We're making, we're making, okay, we're making things happen here. Uh, so now I could crack my treasure token and vamp. Or I could keep my treasure token so I can have extra mana. Uh, hmm. I could also vamp for Ancestral Recall. Could probably do. I don't know. Like, brainstorming here is, like, kind of good, though, isn't it? I brainstorm, and then I vamp for... Well, then I can't cast Ancestral Recall. I don't have any mana. All right, I'm going to draw with my top first and see what I draw. A Delta. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. Yes. 
right, I'm going to cast a Vampiric Tutor, and I'm going to get the card Ancestral Recall. And then I'm going to go to my turn. I feel like we came out so far ahead in this, this interaction. Uh, I do appreciate my opponent. Are they going to hold? They're not even going to hold up the death right. They're not even going to bluff the Flusterstorm. Based. I will draw Ancestral Recall. I'll still play around. Is there any reason to play around? Whatever. I'm going to play a... Well, yeah, I can actually just use my Delta so that I can still have mana after. I'm going to go get Underground Sea. I'm going to cast Ancestral Recall. And I'm going to hope they don't have a Negation or a Force. They don't. I am going to... Uh, I don't know. We're so far ahead. Who cares? Cast, cast Brainstorm. That didn't really work out, did it? Oh, wait. I only had one mana. Oh. Oh. I thought I had two mana. I should definitely have cast Soul Ring. My bad. That was pretty bad of me. That <laughs> was so bad of me. Uh, I'll just go to end step and discard a Wish Claw Talisman. That was not my best uh moment. I apologize, chat. So next turn we have a saga, we play the saga, we play the soul ring, we I don't know. I mean we could have probed here, but I don't know if I care what's in their hand. Kinda just want multiple blue cards to pitch to force. Then we can dig through time later and everyone's gonna be happy. Blue, blue. Well, I already played a land this turn, so. Um, do I care about a Tarmogoyf? I mean, I have a dress down, so I theoretically don't care about a Tarmogoyf. But I also could just force it for fun. Just gives me infinite time. I guess it means they could like play a, an oof, but I, I don't think they have an oof or they would have played it already. Maybe I'm just not supposed to force there. I'm going to have a dress down. Yeah, I'm not supposed to force the stupid Tarmogoy. I'm stupid. I'm bad. I'm stupid. I deserve to get oofed here. What is happening? Oh, a second Outland Liberator. There's a lot of Outland Liberators. It does kill my Saga. Uh, Alright, so now I have two artifacts in play. So I have six current mana. So I can actually go Luris here. And then I can play a Lurus. And then I can play a Black Lotus. I played this game so poorly. I, I, I honest to God just played this game terribly. I do not I don't deserve to win. I have a dig through time up right now. Is it better to just dig now? I feel like it is. Uh, I can keep a top and a wish claw and a lotus in my yard. Okay. Uh, I am going to take a force and a force. Seems fine. Don't see how I can lose with an active Luris and multiple forces. Like they have to uh, outland Liberator my Saga. 
Uh, so I just can't lose, I think. Taking Crane? Yeah. Oh, they don't have to Outline Liberator my Saga because they drew a Wasteland. Are they going to Outline Liberator my Soul Ring? I have a Black Lotus, though. Are they going to flip their Outland Liberator? I can play two spells in one turn. Oh, Demonic Tutor. All right, I'm going to play a Black Lotus, and then I am going to... I don't know. Does it matter, really? Demonic for something? How about a time walk? Time walk sounds like fun. I don't, I don't. I mean, I have lots of choices. I can do lots of things. They're all good. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> I just want to go to the next turn. Then I'm going to go probably wish claw with deadly dispute or something. I make more mana this way. I mean, I'm going to eventually get stopped by a trap breaker, but then they can just, then I can just do it again. So like, doesn't matter. <gasps> a crane. All right. So I'm going to play a wish claw talisman from my yard. And then I will make a bunch of blue mana. And then I will do, um, I will, um, I'll play a crane. Um, I'll miss, I'll miss on my crane. <laughs> uh, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Um... Let's, I don't know, let's make black mana and activate this uh, Wish Claw Talisman and Deadly Dispute my Wish Claw Talisman. Um, and then I will tutor for a... Repeal Crane Key... Uh, how about a crane? Let's go for a crane. Play a jet. <laughs> Are we playing with our food? I don't know. Do I know how the best way and most quick... Do I know the best and quickest way to win this game? Also, no. <laughs> All right. Play a crane, and then I find a wish claw talisman. Sure, yeah. Or uh, yeah, why not? Sure, wish claw talisman. Getting saga. I mean, saga also gets killed by outland liberator, but maybe that is the fastest. I don't know. But then I can vault key the next turn. So. Oh no! Not eating time walk from my yard. All right. Oh, brainstorm. You got it. <laughs> this is something's happening. What if they draw abrupt decay? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I wanted to or what I wanted to tutor for a crane, okay? Shame on me.
All right, we'll, we'll go for the kill next turn here. We'll go for an end step repeal and into a vault key. Using both of our wish claw talismans. Blue, blue, dig through time. Nope. All right, I will win the game next turn. Sorry, chat. I was uh, I got caught up in the crane value. Wait, they're eating a uh, Urza Saga. That means they have their own Flusterstorm. Exciting. Crane game. Crane game. Oh wait, they ate and got a black mana. So Bowmaster. Oh, wait, what's happening? We're just eating a Nerza Saga for fun. For fun! I love for fun. Maybe they thought they could pay. Imagine we get a Breath Decay in mid-combo. Man, that would stink. All right, I'm going to float a bunch of mana. I'm going to draw a card with my Sensei's top. I am going to cast Repeal, targeting my Outland Liber their Outland Liberator. They'll sacrifice killing my Wishclaw Talisman, I assume. Well, I guess that means we can't win the game on this turn. Oh, they're just going to let it get bounced to hand. I see. I don't know if I understand uh, that one very much. Uh, the only way I lose... Like, this doesn't work is they have Abrupt Decay, right? Abrupt Decay is the way this doesn't work. I don't really have any way to not have that become a problem, so... And then I kill you with cranes! And then I kill you with cranes! Besaichu is actually kind of annoying because I can replay, but uh, it's not until the next turn, so they could do a couple tutorings. So Besaichu is kind of annoying too, huh? I definitely did not play that game optimally, but I got a lot of value in. A lot of, lot of, lot of content, so... It was worth it, right? All right, so I definitely need Dismembers and Snuff Out and Long Goodbye. This is the Long Goodbye matchup for sure. For sure. And the Swamp matchup. And then I actually don't think this is a Negation matchup, even though Oko's annoying. Uh, it's just too little too late. Um, what else? Flusterstorm maybe down one. Oh, maybe they have a bunch of vigors, though. What do we take out? I feel like we should trim some amount of claws here. Just because of how much, like, oofs they have. Daily Dispute's still good, though. Maybe we take out, like, Lotus Petal. Like that. Bug seems like a tough matchup. Bug and... Maybe Shops. Maybe Bizarre. This, this deck looks pretty good against blue decks. 
I would have to like a non like a like like Luris and and non non oof blue decks, I should say. Uh, what do we got? Force, misstep, fluster, deadly dispute, multiple land drops. Yeah, seems fine against bug. Get both of our basics as well. Man, I want a 5-0 with my glint cranes. Ah, uh, no, no death right, huh? Oh, we drew a mox. Yeah, <laughs> some of us were playing more powerful cards like Glint Crane. <laughs> Rough. GG's Aaron. I did like getting Chancellor of the Drost. I have not been Chancellor of the Drost in many times. Many a times. Uh, this is oof. There it is. Oof, there it is. All right, I'm going to force oof, there it is, with Flusterstorm back up here. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to cash in on Deadly Dispute, I think. Seems fine. Okay, so that means I have a Luris. Wait, that's just broken. Deadly Dispute is nuts, chat. Like deadly dispute is just completely nuts. Well, oh, you beat you beat Vine. Nice. You do love to see it. Play the Lotus so I can cast Flusterstorm. I have drawn a lot of Black Lotus and, uh, in this in this league, I have to say. I've, I've drawn, I think, Black Lotus the most of all my restricted cards. Which is a good thing when you're playing Luris, for sure. I, I think these Deadly Disputes have just been fantastic. Oh, no, my Mental Misstep is gone. Unlucky. Wasteland. Got him! Basics! All right, so now what do we do? We just hold open a million mana. Strip mine. Don't feel like strip mine matters very much. Think I'd rather just play all my cards out. Like, I don't think strip mining against the Deathrite Shaman does anything. I haven't even cast like a Lorien Revealed. This is the perfect time to draw Lorien Reveal because you have uh, Black Lotus Loops with Luris. Like, this is definitely the time we want to draw Lorien Revealed. Eating a land. What does that mean? Blue, black. Oh, Leovold. I will cast Force of Will on your Leovold. And, yep, sure. Oh, they have another strip mine. Wait, they have a strip mine? Oh, come on, man. <laughs> what, what, what did I do to deserve this? <laughs> That's so evil. Ooh, deadly dispute. Another deadly dispute? I think I'm supposed to strip mine now, though. Man, I am having a good time. It is because we are winning, obviously, but 
the way we are winning has been extremely enjoyable. I just want a 5 0 for the crane. Do it for the crane. All right, we're making a mana. Oof, there it is again. Ooh, library. Uh... Hmm. Deadly dispute. No, I, I don't want them. Well, I guess they don't have a lot of life left, right? So maybe it doesn't matter. All right, yeah, fine. Have it. Why not? I have so many cards. I'm just going off. Man, this is so much fun. <laughs> We're just murdering this bug player. It's great. <laughs> Crane game, crane game, crane game. Come on, key, 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 key. Damn it. <laughs> that was not worth it, by the way. <laughs> oh, man. I still have Force of Will and Flusterstorm up. Uh, well, I didn't make any blue mana, and I want to hold open Force of Will Flusterstorm, so it wasn't a flex. Dismember, Crane, and Replay it. No, I'm trying to win the game. I'm trying to win the game here. I could have uh, maybe floated black mana and then used blue mana or something. Um, is Crane a new card? No, this is this is like Kaladesh. <laughs> GG's from the bees. Yes, yes. I mean, the whole point of this deck is mostly to play Deadly Dispute, but I guess it was. I guess it all came from the Wishclaw Talisman. The Wishclaw Talisman was the card I wanted to play, and then I was like, wait a second, Deadly Dispute, and now. One one away. All right, here we go. Fifth and final round of the crane game. If we can win on the play in the fifth round, we will 5-0 and trophy with not only Wishclaw Talisman, not only Deadly Dispute, but also Glint Nest Crane. Hopefully we'll get there. Alias Taken Ass, do you give lessons? No, unfortunately I do not have the required free time to do any kind of coaching. Uh, I do have links to people who can give you lessons if that's something you're interested in. Um, there's a bunch of good eternal content creators out there who are also doing coaching. I don't have the time, though. Hand looks good. Opponent is also on the cat, probably on one of my earlier versions of Luris Pio with the Bowmasters and Wheels. So, a lot to like about what's going on here. 
There will be a question of should we hold up Flusterstorm, Dispute, uh, or buy Luris? That is a hard question to answer. I think the answer is we can hold everything up. Because I don't want to play Luris next turn with no black mana anyways, so... I think I'd rather just hold everything up. Oh, actually, I have a Pearl. Mm, maybe I was actually supposed to buy. I didn't see the Pearl. The Pearl is on color mana, so I could actually have held up Flusterstorm. Yeah, I don't like that very much, Justin. Oh, well, if I can Flusterstorm a PO, I'll be a lot happier, so... <laughs> My opponent had gone uh, Mox PO here. No, there's a there's another vintage result with Crane. Was it me? Hope it was me. Saturn. <laughs> yes, I miss Saturn. Damn. That's unfortunate. Saga Gaming. Huh. Kind of wanted another blue card to be perfectly honest. Mm. I'm a little worried about getting combo killed here. Saga gaming of their own. Not ideal. Well, the problem is, is if I deadly dispute, my opponent can cast PO here. I guess it's only for two. But what am I deadly disputing? Like, uh, I mean, I'm not getting rid of this pearl, right? This pearl's really good right now. I don't know what I want to do. But I guess I can buy it back with Luris. But then I won't be able to have Flusterstorm up. I don't know. This is like a really hard choice here. My Saga will go off first. So I'm trying to find a Time Vault. But like, what am I doing this turn? Am I just making a construct, holding everything open? I guess. I mean, only if it resolves, they can do it with on with everything on their stack in response. So there's a lot of problems timing window wise. All right, so here I'm just gonna go get both my underground seeds one at a time, so that I have all kinds of mana, and then we have lots of options. So. I, can't, I wish I could dispute a, d a dress down. I wish. I can't sacrifice it. It'd be so good. Dress down of their own. Yeah. Oh, the card is good. It's just not very good. I think the card would be very good if I could sack enchantments. Four cards in my opponent's hand. I think I'm just going to make a construct and sack it to Deadly Dispute. Is a PO? I see. So I feel like we force it. Or I could Deadly Dispute and then Flusterstorm it. Could be even better. Oh, maybe I should have made the construct instead of sacking the pearl. This can get like mental missed up plus pay too, I guess. Oh, I can't because of Dress Down. True, true. I was waiting till end step to, to make a construct. I mean, this worked out pretty damn well. I mean, I still I get to buy back Pearl with my Luris if I want to as well. All right, now this goes away and I make a construct. Definitely not making another construct. The opponent has four dress downs in their deck because it's my PO list, probably. 
Yo, what up, 400, 420, I should say. All right, this is like really nice spot. Um, We're like really far ahead in card advantage. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to get a Black Lotus. And then I am going to Wasteland this Saga. I think they might have a bowmaster, which I guess is kind of annoying. Oh, they have another dress down. Um, I wish I had another deadly dispute so I could sack my construct. This is, I mean, this turns off my Luris actually, huh? I guess it's fine because I'm just gonna cast Lorien revealed instead. I mean, I can't go Luris this turn, which is annoying. I don't think there's any reason to fight over it. I don't think it matters. It's just an annoying card. There are just, like, way more important things to fight over. Uh, yeah, I'll brainstorm here. I haven't played a land yet, right? Oh, no, I played a strip mine. Uh... That's fine. And I'll just play this out for mana for next turn. So I have two forces and a mental misstep for my opponent's turn. And then I am untapping with Luris, Lotus, Luris, Dress Down. I have a Talisman. Oh, I could have played Luris anyways and gone for a dress down. I'm not sure that's better. Buy Luris, play Luris here. Twister. That's really bad for me. Hope I don't have Flusterstorm back up here. Man. One card. And then they can have their own Luris. I'm going to force this. I'm just trying to figure out how I want to force this. I feel like having a dress down is better. Uh, I'm not sure we have enough mana to do that. They have not Fort Luris to hand. So if I were to force this, and then I would have a, an academy, which makes me three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Dress down, down to six mana. Wish Claw down to four mana. Activate, activate. Now I'm not work close. It's just their next turn is buy and play Luris. I'm like worried about like another PO off the top as well. I'm super worried. I mean, I'm definitely forcing. Is there anything I would want to miss up? Like if I don't keep the dress down, then I don't have dress down loops with my Luris, which is probably bad. Oh, I could uh, activate Wish Claw and then repeal the Wish Claw. That's not very good. <laughs> um, I mean, I do win on the next turn, but I'm like worried I, I die before the next turn if they like just drop PO, right? I wish they have, I guess if they have a second fluster, it doesn't matter. Like, I just have to win with fresh cards. I'll be pretty upset that I didn't have the cards in hand. I, I, I kind of feel like I must have played something a little wrong here. All right, they're just going to buy Luris this turn. So I can dress down their Luris, but that means they'll still be able to dress down my Luris, right? 
Uh, okay. So let me just do a quick math check again. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Kind of wish this deck had a Yog Will. I feel like a Yog Will might be good in this deck. Oh, I can't double dress down if I tap like this. I guess I could if I sack my treasure token. I guess I could just play Black Lotus. Oh, I have a Black Lotus in my yard. Does that change anything? If I play Black Lotus, it's plus one mana, right? So if I play Black Lotus, tap for four, five, eight, nine, dress down to seven, wish claw to five, I'm one mana short. I'm one mana short, right? One, two, three. Sorry, one, two, three, four. Four mana, five mana. Oh no, I already tapped my soul ring. No, my lotus. One, two, three, four mana. Five mana, six mana, nine mana. Seven mana, five mana. Four mana, three mana. Play, play, I'm down to, yeah, I'm one mana short. Um, hmm. I don't know the card underneath this. All right, I'm going to play Dress Down and then a second Dress Down. Oh, this means they're, yeah, this means they're still can Dress Down. Hmm. I mean, if they just drop P.O., we lose. They drew P.O. Very frustrating. I wonder if I could have played this game better. Their hand was just Luris, and they ripped Pia off the top. Three cards in hand. They can just... Oh, they don't know. They don't know, chat. They don't know. They could have played Luris, and then on their end step, played their dress down. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm just advertising. This is double Bowmaster kill Luris. So that's what they chose to do instead. Let's see. All right. Well, you should still win with double wish claw then, right? Because their last card is Luris. How much mana do we have? Uh, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, demonic three. I'm one mana short again. Am I one mana short again? Or actually, this only costs one less mana, right? So if I play this out, so if I play this out, I have one mana floating, and then I have one, two, three, four mana. No, that's one less mana. What if I just demonic for time walk? Uh, play a wish claw and then i have yeah let's do that oh i guess i have a deadly dispute as well right
I mean, this is just guaranteed. This is fine. This is this is deterministic. Uh I I will have to go back and watch that game because I must have played this game badly. I feel like I opened myself up to a loss that I should not have been open to. I'm a little frustrated. But I don't know the answer because I can't go back in time right now. <laughs> okay, focus up, play game two. So this is my Bowmaster Twister version of Luris P.O., which is like the first version I version I streamed. Yeah. I think I didn't respect Twister T Flusterstorm because I could have easily played around Fl Twister Flusterstorm. Yeah, four dress down, four Bowmaster. Uh I don't think this is a null rod matchup. It's probably a Mind Break Trap matchup. I don't think this is a Needle matchup. Yeah, yeah. I don't think this is a Needle matchup. I don't think this is a Lantern matchup. Is it a Steel Sabotage matchup? Is it a Hercules matchup? Question marks. I don't think we need the island. I think we can trim on Wish Claw. I'm going to say it's not a Steel Sabotage matchup, but it is a Hercules matchup. I think I'm going to play this. I don't want to dilute myself too much here. I just want to have a couple tech answers for their stuff and do the best we can. This deck has been great. I've been having a lot of fun. Come on, let's get it. One more, baby. Trophy, trophy, trophy. All right, as a force. Yeah, that's a keep. It's a little slow, but... This is both of my Wish Claw Talismans. Mm. Negation. Not bad, actually. Hard castable off of uh, Black Lotus here. They are going to negate my Lotus pitching Time Twister? Sure. <laughs> yep. I accept. That is okay. That does not feel like a problem to me. I am pretty happy. Oh, Saga Gaming. Okay. What if they, like, get a needle off of Saga on my Wishflaw Talisman? The Spies Luris? Are they going to hold up Fluster? Huh. I'm a little behind here. I mean, I'm a lot behind. Even though they even though they negated me, I feel like I'm pretty far behind. The soul ring was a problem. I don't have enough mana either. If I don't draw land next turn, yeah, but I'm like worried I won't have the repeal by then. 
they're just gonna get another van another saga or are they gonna get time vault of their own maybe force maybe time vault of their own i'm really worried i probably need to draw another blue card but i also need to draw land Draw the land. Gonna pass with all my mana open. See where this goes. I just am super tempoed by being on the draw in this game and not having any mocks in. Oh, they just got ancestral. I see. Okay, I'm just gonna negate the ancestral. Man, I, I don't know how this game is gonna go. I'm very interested to see how this game ends up. They're gonna make another construct. Interesting. Definitely okay with that. Are they gonna needle Saga? Are they gonna needle Talisman? They might need a talisman. They know I have two talismans. Okay. And academy? Huh. Definitely want to draw a mox here. And Lorian? And by, by Luris? By Luris. Okay. I feel like my opponent's cards are just a lot better than ours. Drew Time Vault. Uh, okay, sure. I'm gonna play Time Vault now. I feel like it's the best play. And then they have to do something. Should I... I could die to... Could die to time walk if they have fluster they get to fluster my repeal should i have lead repeal should i have lead repeal no way right i mean there's nothing i need to force unless they have like a second needle or I mean, they have to have time walk, right? It has to be exactly time walk. So I think I should just wait with force. I mean, time vault draw is so nuts. So crazy. I mean, if they have time walk luster, I can't beat that no matter what. So, they have PO. Oh, they can PO and replay their needle. Ah, I mean, if they have fluster, they have fluster then. Shit. Ah! Now I don't have an answer to needle. I think it's better to just force, right? Like, it's just better to force than to actually repeal the needle. I mean, they're they're gonna draw two cards off of Pio, right? Isn't it better to just force? I mean, maybe I draw another blue card is what you're saying, but I still have I still have problem beating Flusterstorm, right? Like why do why do I want to give them an extra two cards for free if I can force now? No, I have a Hercules recall on my deck, right? So actually, we're fine because I put in the Hercules, right? Or we're out of no, we don't have enough mana, right? That's gonna be one mana short, so I have to draw mana for this to work.
And they have to have not drawn more counter magic off of the PO. No, no, no. We have to draw another mana, don't we? Hercules is three mana off of Talisman. A named key. I mean, just drawing, just drawing a land is good. Or a mox. Dig! <laughs> That's the worst draw. I mean, Hercules is still good, but... Maybe I just... No, I mean, Hercules is still good, but it's not going to win the game, though. Ah. Uh, I didn't board the Steel Sabotage in, right? No, it's just Hercules. They negated my Lotus. Well, Hercules is better than Dress Down because I get to get the, the Talisman back. What if I just, like, don't get key? What if I just, like, get a uh, soul ring so I have way more mana? If I had a black lotus here, I could... Mm. I'm gonna go soul ring... Wish Claw Talisman, Urkels, Urkels them, get back my Wish Claw Talisman, and do I replay the Wish Claw, or do I play, I can play a top here and spin for a four, oh, I don't get the Wish Claw back, because I own it. Ah. Okay, well, we're fucked then. <laughs> uh, okay. That's, that's notably bad for us. Oh my god, there was a key on top. Alright, I'm gonna leave Vamp on top, and then... I don't know how this is gonna... I don't think we can win this game now. I think I played badly there. I don't know what I was supposed to do. I guess in that case, I was supposed to dress down. Kind of thought I was getting my Wish Claw back. I did read the, the Hercules twice and be like, Ah, oh, owns, yes. Okay, I have no more answers to Needle. Maybe I do need to put another Sabotage in the deck. I mean, two answers is a lot of answers, right? They named Time Vault this time. I mean, now they just tutor for a PO and kill us, though, so. I don't... Did I have a line there that could have won? I'm not sure. I guess I could always steal Sabotage back Talismans, so it's like not gets that bad. I drew both Talismans out of four was kind of brutal. They just drew another PO off the top anyways? All right. Um, I mean, I don't think we're supposed to win this game because my opponent outdrew us extremely hard. But... 
The negation on the Lotus kind of messed us up a little bit. Hmm. All right, let's try again. I feel like... Yeah, I also think this deck should have a Yogwill. I also think that's true. Maybe an engineered explosives? Yeah, you just I wish you could get it off of uh Saga. Uh did it just not reveal my Luris? Or No, it did. It's just lagging. Okay. Ooh, I got scared there. All right, I have six minutes on my clock. I need to play a bit faster here. Um, I, I don't know if I could have won that game, but it does feel like it would have been pretty hard to. All right, so we have... Uh, maybe I'm supposed to brainstorm now, but I don't know what I want, which makes it kind of tough. Saga. So I can cycle... Black Lotus. Okay, I definitely just don't want Dig Through Time and Negation, probably. Or maybe I don't want Time Walk. Probably Negation. Do I want to draw Negation? No. I guess I technically could play Lorian. I don't think I want that. Ugh, <sighs> oh, drew another land though. Is not great. I guess I can go for uh, Luris with backup here. I just don't think that's good though, right? That's my problem. I need to draw like more action after. I feel like I just hemorrhage too much. Sabotage. Black Lotus. Luris. Luris. Of course. I just don't have like a, a thing to do is the problem. Like I don't have a dress down or like obviously there's no bobbles in our deck, but they did just exile transmute artifact. I mean I have enough mana to cast us a, a third or fourth Lorien reveal if I draw them. Academy? Uh, can I force here? Maybe I just steal sabotage this. That worked really well. Probe. Oh, they have a Yog Will. Brain, PO, Ponder, no mana. They have Vault Key. Oh, I missed this crane. No, crane, you betrayed me. It's okay. I'll draw Deadly Dispute. I'll draw Deadly Dispute. Oh, the crane betrayed me. So they get a key here, and then they play Time Vault, I assume. Ah, oh, man. Their cards are a little bit more powerful than ours. All right, they have a ponder next turn. Come on, Lauren revealed deadly dispute something. Vamp? Uh, I don't know about vamp. 
That might be too late. What are we vamping for, chat? Oh, man, I wish we had Yogwell. What are we vamping for? It might just be Dispute, honestly. Draws two, gets us another crane. They did not shuffle. Ancestral gets misstepped though, doesn't it? I guess Vamp gets misstepped. I'm just gonna get Dispute, sounds like fun. Dig is probably good too. Yeah, Dig is probably the best. They drew, neg they got negation and time walk. Okay. That's still fine though, right? So this is the best thing that was against negation because I get to replay crane. And I missed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Mana vault. Oh no. They're POing next turn. Can I just draw force? Wish Claw. Wait, what is that? Can I? Ah, oh, if I had Time Walk, I would win. If I had Yogwill, I would win. If I had Yogwill, I would win. No. I'm gonna lose. If I had, if I had No Rod, I would win. Ah. Uh... What if we what if we wish claw for for strip mine and we strip mine their Talarian, they can tutor for Black Lotus and then Yog will us. Um I don't think there's anything. They still just kill us, right? If I had a Yogwill in our deck, we would win. I guess I could get dig through time. Well, tutoring for a fluster means they can just do the same thing and we're giving them more mana. Yeah, but like, what are we trying to get off dig through time? Like, yeah, we get it. We can go dig through timing, but then we just get what? Like, we have to get fluster, fluster. We don't even have that many flusters in our deck. I, well, countering their spell is not good enough because they still will have, they'll still have a talisman. Dig through time in for Volky, we don't have enough mana. I think it's just let them cast the cards. If we, if I had a Null Rod in my deck, a Time Walk in my deck, but my Time Walk is in my yard, or if I had a Yogwill in my deck, we would win here. Oh, we had Black Lotus. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, they don't need to... They don't need to hit on P.O. They just need to hit on black mana and then they Yog will and kill us with Time Vault. Okay, maybe I could have gone Dig then. Because I had double Black Lotus, right? Yeah, you're right. I, I kind of forgot about double Black Lotus. I was like running on the clock and definitely missed that. Yep, this kills us, right? Black mana, Yog will, Jet, Time Vault. No, that doesn't kill us because they don't have a PO. They need another mana for a PO. Oh, they have another mana for a PO because they have a key in their hand, right? They play a key, they untap, and they PO, and then they kill us. Fuck! I lost the top five. Oh, no! They use the black mana, untap the mana vaults, PO... Wait, what? They missed it? They missed it? That was, that was deterministic, wasn't it? Uh... <laughs> oh, 
paid actor, paid actor. Oh. Damn. Oh, that was so stressful. I, I'm so, uh, the old beat down plan. Well, they get to draw three cards for free with with Pia. We can go back and look. Um, let me just save this first. Wow! 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 Um. Okay, so we'll go back and look in a sec, chat. But first, we're going to talk about the deck. Deck is sweet. I think this deck just needs a Yogwell, right? That was the only thing I felt, like, really confident that we wanted. I feel like we would just play a Yogwell and tut a Wishclaw, right? And then that's how I'd play this deck. Like, there's some maybe, like, sideboard, like, we can adjust a little bit. But, like, in general... I feel like this is... I, I would just take the will. The will looks really good here. I think the will should definitely be in the deck. And, uh, yeah. I mean, these Glint Cranes uh, did kind of ruin us at the end. Um, it was really, really, really bad with this. The, that these cards missed at the end. Uh, they're not, like, enough artifacts. I guess I, guess I did cut some Wishclaw Talisman, so they ended up being, like, less high of hits. So maybe that's something to consider. Um, they, they don't have to be Glint Cranes. We were just debating, like, we liked it to be a blue card because we wanted more blue cards for forces, and we wanted it to be a creature or an artifact so that we could sack it to Deadly Dispute, and Crane was the best thing we came up with, so. Um, there definitely is, is tons of room there for improvement, but we did it! 5-0 and o with the Glint Nest Crane, Crane Game deck. Uh, wow. Wow. I'm really happy about that. What a fun, what a fun stream this was. But if you want to see more vintage content, check out my YouTube channel every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. New videos just like this one. I will see you then.